Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how to break the objects. So just I will use this default cube and I will break this object here. And so first of all, we need to create the fracture for this cube here. So in order to do that first, we need to enable an add-on. So just if you go to this edit preference and make sure if you go to this add-on, search for like self fracture. So make sure we need to enable this so that we can able to create the fracture for this thing. So now here we will fracture this cube by using this node tool. So whenever we select this annotate tool, uh, so what the thing is by using this thing, we can able to create the fracture for this cube here. But the thing is, see, whenever we click on this thing, whenever we draw the line, so it is not exactly drawing on the surface here. So in order to do that first, we need to uh, select this placement. So here we need to select this surface so that now whenever we click and drag, so it will create on the cube here. So first of all, before that, make sure you have to save this. So now I will just create the lines over this cube. So just randomly create this thing. So now I have created this lines over this thing. So now by using this lines, we can able to create this fracture. So in order to do that, just uh, we will select this cube and now click on F3. So search for cell fracture. So select this and click on the cell fracture. And make sure here we have to select this annotation pencil. So select this and also the source limit, I will give the value to like 250 or something and recursion like shatter, just I will give the one. And also just I want to create this in the new collection so we can give the name, let's say like a fracture so that it will create a new collection. And here you can select the size of the pieces. So let it be like a default, like small. And now we need to click on this OK. So whenever we click on this, okay, see now it has been created the fracture pieces by using the lines which we have created. And now we will just hide the default cube. So see, and also see now it has been created in the different uh, collection over here. And also we will uh, remove this thing. So in order to remove that, we can go to this and here in the note option, just we need to click on this minus so that it will remove the notes here. So now it has been created the fracture. Uh, so we need to create the animation for this thing. So before that we can create the ground plane for the collision. So like I will add this ground plane in a different collection. So just I will create a new collection and here I will make it as a default and like shift a mesh and we will take this plane and scale it. And also just I will place exactly to the ground level. So press G and Z just we will drag this. So now we have created this ground plane. So now what the thing is, we will add the rigid dynamics for this pieces. So select any one of the pieces. Let's say I will select this one. And now we will go to this uh, physics tab. So in the physics tabs, we can see there is an option like rigid body. So select this. So that's it. Now what the thing is, we need to apply this rigid body for the other pieces also. See, whenever we select, so now there is no rigid body property for this thing. So what we'll do is, we'll apply this rigid body for the remaining pieces. So for that, what we'll do is just we'll select the collection here. So in order to select the collection, like uh, whatever the objects present in this collection. So we can right click on this collection and select these objects. And now just we need to go to this objects, rigid body and click on this copy from active. So whenever we click on this, so see now whenever we select this thing, now the rigid body has been applied for all the pieces. Okay. Now, whenever we click on this play, so see it is falling down. So actually what the thing is, we need to add the collision for this plane. So select this. So here in the physics tab, click on this rigid body. So rigid body and make sure we have to select this as a passive. So now we will click on this play. So now we got this nice dynamic animation. So now what the thing is, just we'll create this animation a little bit more interesting. So we will create an, we will add a character which has been downloaded from the Mixamo. So just we will match the animation of that character and just will create the destruction. So first I will import the model. So before that I will create a new collection for this thing. So right click like new collection, make it as a default. So let's say I will create in outside. So let it be, so right click new collection. And now I will import the character. So file, we can go to this import and select this FBX. So this is a character which I'm going to use uh, for this animation. So select this and click on this import. So now the character has been imported. So just we'll scale it. So make sure uh, I will place on this exactly the ground level. 
so that's fine and now see whenever we click on this play we have this nice animation for this character so like an it's a compact animation which has been applied in the mixamo so now we'll match the animation for this cube here so that just i will move a little bit aside so just like g and z so let's say okay and also first i want to turn off the animation for this cube here now because in the starting i don't want to like fall down so after like uh, this word touches to this cube then only it has to start the animation so for timing we'll turn off this animation for this thing so we'll deactivate so we'll select any one of the piece and here in the physics tab here you can go there is an option like dynamics and here we need to enable this deactivation and start activation so this property has to be applied to all the remaining objects so i will select the collection right click select objects and object here we need to go to this rigid and select this copy from active so now whenever we click on this play see nothing will happen so it has been deactivated so it will activate until i apply the force here so what the thing is just i will create one force so that we will try to match this animation so that it will look like it has been hit to this cube and later it has to shatter over the all the places here so we will create one force for this thing. So for example, I will select this object here. And here in the physics tab, we can see there is an option like force field. So just I will select this force field. Now that force has been applied to this piece. And now we will click on this play. Nothing will happen because this force has to be applied to all the other pieces. And also here I will increase the strength for this thing. So like if I click on play, nothing will happen because this force has to be applied to all the pieces. So same, like we will create the collection. So right click, select. So just we will go to the object and apply to this thing, like copy from active. So that's fine. So now whenever we click on this play, so see, now we got this nice animation over here. And now what the thing is, the animation is going to start from first frame. I want to start this animation whenever the sword is going to overlap this cube. So like we will use, uh, we will animate the strength for this thing. And also before animation, we can uh, see some of the settings here. So this is a strength. Suppose if I increase the strength over here, let's say if I give the value to like 100. So see, now we got the same strength. What the thing is actually here, the shape here in the shape, we need to select this every point so that it will apply nice force to this thing. See, now we got this nice force. See. So we can decrease the strength over here. So let's say we can click on this 50 and now say we got this nice strength. So whenever we click on this play, see, we got this nice strength, like nice force over here. And also there is an option uh, like flow. Suppose if you would don't want to spread it more, then we can increase the flow of this thing. And also we can turn on the gravitation. So like, say, suppose if I click on this play, so we got this uh, small, fracture over here so according to the force which is going to apply we need to create the animation so let's say i will decrease the force let's say i will give the value to like one or something so let it buffer and just let me play again so now let me play again see now we got this force but still i want more force so let's say i will turn off this flow for time being so now whenever we click on this play see now we got this nice force. Okay. And what the thing is now we need to uh, give the animation for this strength uh, so that whenever it is going to overlap means like the sword is going to overlap, then only the animation has to start here. So we will see this thing. Uh, so we will see where the anime sword is going to overlap. First, let me uh, give the strength to zero. Let me go to the first frame. Now, let's say now it is going to overlap at this position here let's say this position so the animation of this strength should start from this uh, like 52 frame or 51 so just uh, until 52 it has to be like zero that's fine and just i will give the animation so in order to give the animation you have to over the mouse on that property and just press i so that it will create an keyframe for that thing and laterly after like one or two frames, uh, just I will give the value to like 50 or something. And again, press I by hovering the mouse on that. Now we will see this thing. So like this, see, so we got this nice animation. 
So it depends on your situation, uh, whatever the force is going to apply according to that, we need to apply the force. And also later, if I want to turn off the force, uh, so see whenever we select this force over here. So let's say like after few frames, again, the force uh, has to be like the strength has to be go to zero and I can press on I. So we will see this now. Okay, so see, now we got this nice. But still, uh, I can increase the keyframe duration so that still it has to maintain some force. And if you want, you can give more animation. So just I will go to this thing. Let's say I will give the animation like 70 or something and just right click replace animation. So, okay. So once again, we will play this. So, okay. So see, now we got this nice animation. So in this way, we can break the objects by using this uh, force and the cell fracture. And also just we have created this animation by using the character. And we'll see how it will look like uh, when we apply the texture for this thing. So just we can go to this texture mode. So now we got this nice texture. And just if you want, you can give the texture for this cube over here, like uh, anything like uh, brick or whatever the con concrete material or something so according to your requirement you can give the material here so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next video